All right, it's done. My checkbook is perfectly balanced, Penny. Let's go to the bank and take out the money for your new clothes. Thanks, Uncle Gadget. You know, it says here that more and more banks are using microwave transmissions from satellites to do their transactions. Certainly, Penny. Everyone knows that. Our bank was one of the first to use the system. Naturally. I chose it because it used those, uh, uh... Microwave transmissions from satellites, Uncle Gadget. Of course. Now we'd better get over there before they close. The black box has been affixed to the satellite, Dr. Claw. Now everything is ready out in space. I just said that. What about it? The black box will allow you to intercept Metro City bank transactions simply by using your console. You can get money anytime you want. Precisely. Now all the money of the Metro City Bank belongs to man. Our agent at the Space Center has placed crazy gas in the repair crew's oxygen tanks. The crazy gas will cause them to hallucinate monsters too hideous to imagine. one of the crewmen working in space, the gas will make you see monsters. They'll never find the black box. Excellent. Install the other boxes immediately. Yes, yes Dr. Dr. Claw. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Soon I'll have all the banks in my control, and I can have anything I want, Mad Cat. If it's in a bank, it's mine. Now, my first banking transaction. Gadget, your account. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Gadget. There is no money in your account. Let me see that, miss. I don't think you want to do that, Uncle Gadget. <laughs> Where? Aha! Disguised as a bank guard. Very clever disguise. Stand back, Penny. Go, go, Gadget handcuffs. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be uh, uh... used against you in a court of law. Right. How did you know that? I'm the bank guard. You can't arrest me. A likely story. And a perfect disguise. And strong glue, too. He really is the bank guard, Uncle Gadget. He is? Come on while I call the police. That won't be necessary. I am the police. And I have a phone right here. Oh, thank you very much. What am I doing? Don't worry, Uncle Gadget. I'll contact Quimby. Something strange is going on here, Brain. There's no money in Uncle Gadget's account, but he keeps all his money here. I don't know where it's gone, Brain. We know where it's gone, don't we, Mad Cat? Now to check on our progress in outer space. <laughs> Huh? I feel funny. I don't know what's wrong. Huh? A space monster! I say. What are you in for? I was making a bank withdrawal. What a coincidence. So was I, and I got two blocks away before they caught me. They got me in the bank. Are you getting hungry? <laughs> hey, 
Hey, don't open that door! You're prisoners! Not bad, now huh? for something to drink. Here you go. Stay in there, please. Please. I say, is someone ringing? Shh. Official police business. Chief, where are you? I'll be right there. There you are, Chief. Here's your assignment, Gadget. And I'll get you out of here right away. Bank funds being stolen. Suspect mad of manipulating microwave satellite transmissions. Investigate immediately. Caution, this message will self-destruct. Right away, Chief. Hey, I just swept that floor. I can't be cleaning up after you all day. Sorry. I know. This is just a bad dream. Gadget's out of jail, Dr. Claw. I'll see that he keeps out of mischief. I know you from somewhere. I never forget a face. I'm a master of disguises, you know. Ouch! Take some deep breaths, mister. What a strange odor. <laughs> Want to hear a funny story? Huh? This stuff really works. Watch out! What? Oh no! Where the driver went. Wowzers! Go, go, gadget! Doctor. Such a beautiful woman. She's so wonderful. Wowzers! Reginald, Gadget's heading into space. I told you to keep him from interfering. Stop him! Yes, sir, Dr. Claw. And now we bring you some strange news from outer space. Satellite repairmen working for Metro City Bank are refusing to work. Now, I'm not going out there. There are monsters in outer space. This is the truth. Hmm. Space monsters? Uncle Gadget, he let you go. Of course, Penny. As soon as I check my gadgets, I must head for outer space. I'm on assignment, you know. Go, go, Gadget Space Helmet. Be it Space Monster or whatever it is. For Inspector Gadget, it it's just like a little puppy. <sighs> 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 Wowzers! I must have forgotten to fill the oxygen tank. I'll get it refilled at the spaceport. I bet this has something to do with those satellite repairmen. They were scared by something in space and couldn't fix the bank's satellite. You'd better follow Uncle Gadget. What? 
Transmitting communications to Dr. Claw. Calling Dr. Claw. I just said that. Your reports. Next, uh, we will set one on the satellite for international bank transfers. You will be able to get money from any bank in the world. Splendid. Then, we'll install a device to control the stock exchange. After you set them all, I will be able to control everything. Don't I recognize you from somewhere? Uh, no, sir. I don't believe so. I never forget a face. I'm a master of disguise, you know. Is the spaceship ready? Oh, uh, yes, sir. It uh, certainly is. Oh! oh, I almost forgot. Fill this with oxygen, please. Ow! Ooh. Ow! <laughs> A little oxygen and a lot of crazy gas, just like Mama used to make. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What's the matter, Brain? <laughs> Inside Uncle Gadget's helmet? <laughs> did you say crazy gas? Who did it? Mad. Those repairmen were probably fed the same gas. Brain, don't take your eyes off Uncle Gadget. <laughs> The Metro City Bank computer is the first thing I should check. Let's see now. Ah, that's better. Uh, Inspector Gadget, it's full. Uh, here you go, sir. Thank you. You'd better stand back. I'm about to take off. In here? I'm an expert pilot. How rude. He didn't even wish me luck on my mission. Since I removed his gyroscope, he'll never be able to leave the hangar. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Dr. Claw, Gadget just took off. Idiot! Well... Yes, sir, Dr. Claw. But the crazy gas is in his oxygen tank. Gadget should not be able to accomplish his mission. Of course. All the computers are working fine. The computer book should be able to help. Oh, Dr. Claw, bad news. The lunatic inspector is approaching. It's Gadget. I just told him that. Eliminate him so he can't interfere with me. Let's utilize the microwave transmissions to rearrange his molecular structure. Yeah, let's cook him. We'll amplify the satellite's power and demolish the inspector. <laughs> Turn up the heat and fry him. Move the antenna from the Metro City Bank to his spaceship! Power's out! Somebody must have changed the direction of the antenna. Whoa. What's the matter, Brain? I'm a rabbito. All right, I'll check it, Brain. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Enough toying with him. Let's finish him off. Full power! <laughs> now I have it. The microwaves of the satellite should be controlled by the computer. I should be able to change the direction. A little, A little more. I detect a deviation in the directionality of the microwave beams. Yeah! They're coming right at us! Oh, it's hot! Terminate the microwave emissions! I'd better turn this baby off! Ah. Oh, boy! Report! We got blasted by our own rays! That's it! I can't wait anymore! Change the satellite control system over to me! Uh, right away! You two get gadget! Yes, sir! Everything 
seems to be functioning properly. <laughs> Wowzers, there's the satellite. Go, go, gadget, space helmet. Now to release the dome. Right! <laughs> We've found Gadget. We won't fail this time. Look at those beautiful stars. I can't believe there are monsters around here. Huh? Look at that. What a beautiful woman. You there, space monster. I, Inspector Gadget, will protect this woman with my light, okay? With this laser. Whoa! Stop, you monster! Right. Oh, darn. The lady is in danger. I better help her. It's all right now, my loveliness. Let me kiss your hand, my dear. Ooh. Dear lady, please wait until I defeat him. The money in the bank is being moved into another account. But whose? Okay, let's reverse the process. Ah, Mad Cat, richer and richer. <laughs> what? Someone's stealing my money. Dr. Claw, we've got Gadget in our tentacles. How would you like him cooked? Forget Gadget. Fix the satellite. It's giving away my money. Oh, uh, we'll give it our fullest attention. You got it, Doc. Go away. She's mine. All mine. Go away from here. Ah. Mine. She's all mine. Go, go, gadget flower. <laughs> it's the police. They'll catch us. Let's get out of here. your account forever, Gadget! Do you smell gas, Uncle Gadget? That burner didn't go on. Wait, Uncle Gadget. When you smell gas, that's a warning that there's a gas leak. Turn off all gas and air out the room before lighting the flame. If you hadn't done that, there might have been an explosion. And if you can't find where it's coming from, call your gas company. Penny, can I make my tea now? Sure. <laughs> Scotland is beautiful, Uncle Gadget. It certainly is, Penny. This is where they make scotch tape, you know. What? Is this the lake where the monster is supposed to live? <laughs> Maybe that's why Chief Crumby sent you up here. Don't be ridiculous. There are no such thing as monsters. You can take my word for that. There is absolutely nothing in that lake. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure, Gadget. You can never tell what lies below the surface. <laughs> right, Mad Cat? <laughs> Oh. Oh. 
bouncers. Brain? Well, I don't see anything. It's overheating again. Now, where's that book that tells you what to do? It's here somewhere. Oh, gadgets! Oh, no! Got it. <gasps> Phew! It says pull over and stop. Well, I did that. Say, this road has certainly gotten smaller. They ought to put up a warning sign. Hmm. Quiet. I heard something. Is that you, Chief? Speak louder. I can't hear you. But, Uncle, it's Chief Quimby. I know that, Penny. I mean, he's here. Oh, sorry, Chief. I didn't see you. There was a sheep in the way. Read this note and look at this picture. Professor Thumpkin, world's leading scientist, has just arrived in Scotland to search for the lake monster. Dr. Claw will try to kidnap him. Your mission is to protect the professor from the forces of mad. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'm always on duty. With Gadget on the job, Fumpkin is as safe as you are. Look, Gadget, just... Huh? Oh! That's what I'm afraid of. You escaped that time, Gadget. But you'll never arrive in time to save the Professor. Is everything ready? Ready, Dr. Claw. We can see him coming. Good. Gadget, I've got you now. <laughs> That's what I like. A well-marked road. Now, let's see. Estimate time of arrival, block nest, find professor. <laughs> Wowzers, this road needs a lot of work. <laughs> Tell me how I get to Loch Ness. Hmm. These people are not very friendly, Penny. We'll find our own way. Professor Fumpkin is supposed to be right here. There's no sign of him or his mobile laboratory. He's probably just going for a walk. Why would he take the whole lab? You mean the lab's gone, too? That's right. Hmm. It's just a suspicion, but I think the professor's disappeared. Benny, you wait at the hotel. I'm going to look for him. Okay, Uncle Gadget, be careful. I'm always careful. That's what makes me a great inspector. understand why they put trees in backup zones. I'm worried. Uncle Gadget is supposed to protect Professor Fumpkin from Dr. Claw. Keep an eye on Uncle Gadget, Brain, but don't let him see you. 
I'm going to set up a radar computer on the far side of the lake and see if I can locate that monster. I'll see you later. Now let's work this out logically. Professor Fumpkin wanted to see what was in the lake. If someone wants to see, he has to get up high. What's high? A tree. Therefore, Professor Fumpkin must be up a tree. Professor? Come down this minute. I know you're up there. All right, I'm coming up after you. Go, go, Gadget Arms. Here I come. Of all the times for my spring to break. Go, go, Gadget Arms. Go, go, Gadget Arms. He must be up another tree. <laughs> Gadget doesn't even suspect we're here. He's in for a surprise, isn't he, Mad Cat? I hope this radar screen works. I've never used it for an underwater search. There's something there. I knew it. Boy, it's big and fast. If it would only come closer, I might be able to get a picture scan. All right, Professor. I've got you this time. What was that? There's something there. Now for my gadget camera. Camera never lies. Look at that, why it's horrible. What if it's captured the professor? Don't worry, professor. I'm coming. Gosh, there's another one. I hope Brain is watching Uncle Gadget. <laughs> They didn't say anything about rain today on the weather report. Hmm. Either that fish has a driver's license or I'm underwater. Go, go, Gadget Coat! Now for a little hilarious gas propulsion. They're coming closer. Maybe I can get a picture. Golly, that's the Gadget Mobile. And that's Brain. There's something coming up behind them. It's a... Oh, my gosh! Brain, Brain, look behind you! <laughs> There it goes. You won't get away this time. Hurry! Hurry, it's gaining! Looks like something from Professor Funkin's mobile laboratory. Are you all right, Uncle Gadget? Hmm? Oh, Penny, yes, fine. It takes more than an underwater creature to worry your uncle. I didn't think you saw it. Of course I did. I was just about to catch it. What? 
Oh, right. Uncle Gadget is... Sorry, Penny, no time now. I'm hot on Funtkin's trail. <laughs> Follow Uncle Gadget. Look at all this junk. Now, if I could just find a trash can. Ah, what do you know? That's it, Gadget. <laughs> Just stand right there. Oh, look. A genuine Scottish walking stick. Mm, nice one, too. But I'll not be needing that now. Blast. Finished. Even better than before. I wonder if I can spot that monster. There it is. You know, there's something funny about it. It's the feet! They're... they're tractor treads! Why, it's not real, it's a machine monster! That means someone must have built it! Dr. Claw! <laughs> Uncle Gadget! Brain! Brain, come in! Brain, you've got to warn Uncle Gadget. He's standing in front of the monster. <laughs> Could they have taken them? Wait a second. This cave looks suspicious. Yes, I bet that's it. Claw has hidden the professor in this cave. I'm coming, professor! At last. It's an earthquake. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello there. Ah, Professor Funkin, I presume. He's there, all right. Exactly where I want him. <laughs> what are you laughing for? I did all the work. Who are you? Inspector Gadget, at your service. Now, don't thank me for finding you. Just doing my job. What job? To protect you, of course. Wonderful. But how do we get out of here? The way we came in, of course. Right out that door. Hmm. I see your point, Professor. No problem. A quick slice with my gadget laser. hey <laughs> Well, that door is obviously impenetrable. Please, Inspector Gadget. Couldn't we just sit here and wait? Nonsense. Inspector Gadget never waits. Ah, you see, there's the motor. I'll just make a small adjustment. No, Mr. Gadget, please. There. Ow! Oh, oh, ah!
Holmes, Inspector. I wish to surrender. Nothing could be worse than your protection. Surrender? Inspector Gadget never surrenders. Besides, I think I found the computer connection. A delicate little twist of the gadget wrench. <gasps> oh, no. See? No need to be alarmed with Gadget on the job. <laughs> It's running amok. And it's coming this way. Out of my way, Mad Cat. Everything is going to be just fine. Gosh, look! It's out of control! The guidance system must have shorted. It did! I knew it! See? It's in his head! We've got to get up there and turn it off! Oh, come on, Brain! I can't control it! No! Go away! I'm your master! Get ready, Brain! When it passes under us, jump! One of these must turn it off. We did it, Brain! Brain? Gadget, you save the professor. Well done, Gadget. Uh, thank you. Ah! What's that? Is it alive? Never mind. All that matters is you've rescued Professor Funkin. You're a hero. I am? Oh, uh, yes, of course I am. Inspector Gadget does it again. Well, you haven't seen the last of Dr. Clark. That was great, Uncle Gadget. I'm really proud of you. Well, if I say so myself, they picked the right man. Look, the professor's waking up. Feeling better, Professor? <laughs> Keep him away from me. I wonder what's wrong with him. Lakes are really nice. But always remember they can be very deep, so never swim out too far. And if you go out in a boat, make sure you've got a life jacket for each of the passengers. And don't load too many people in one boat. That can be very dangerous. <laughs> Brain. Most of all, don't swim in lakes with monsters. Monsters? Where? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Penny, wait for me! I should job to work every morning. <laughs> go, go, gadget legs! your work, but this is ridiculous. You look awful. You really should do something about the shape you're in. Gadget, I've been looking into your file, and I think you've earned yourself a few days off. Chief, it couldn't come at a better time. I've just won a week at a new health spa. Hmm. 
Why don't you come with me? It would give you a chance to get outdoors. No, Gadget. I'm ordering you to take that prize. I need the rest. Anything you say, Chief. Oh, at last, an assignment that didn't blow up in my face. By the way, Chief. Hmm, that's funny. He was here a moment ago. <laughs> My little invitation. He will never guess that the Baidui Spa is really a mad trap set to destroy him. This time he won't escape, a eh, mad cat. Here's to your health, Inspector Gadget. But Uncle Gadget. I don't remember you entering any contest. That's the beauty of these modern lotteries, Penny. Everyone gets a chance. They probably just drew my name out of a hat. That sounds very strange. Be careful, Uncle! <laughs> Brain, follow Uncle Gadget and stay close to him. Got a sneaky suspicion I'm being followed by a mad agent, no doubt. This may help you get a grip on things. But don't ask me what I do for a living, because it's top secret and I won't be able to tell you. So please don't ask. I'm Madame, your activities director. You'll enjoy your stay here, I guarantee it. We're completely at your service. You're our only guest at the moment, so you'll be getting special treatment. That's very gracious of you, madam, but I'm sure any treatment I receive from you would be special. Where do we start? Shall we try the gym? That's a brilliant idea. No wonder you're in charge here. I want you to know that I'm an expert at indoor sports. is ready for our guest. You know I've promised him our special treatment. Hi, guys. I'm here for a whole week. Ah, a punching bag. I used to be pretty good at this. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That was my mother. <laughs> or was it the other way around? I think... A man of your build would be more challenged by the weights. Strange you noticed. This body is a finely tuned instrument, capable of amazing feats of strength. <laughs> See? What did I tell you, madam? <clears throat> a finely tuned <clears throat> instrument. <clears throat> Go, go, gadget arms! Uh, 
Tuning's just a little off. I'll have to get my mechanic to check it over. Let's test your reflexes. Catch. Thank you, madam. They say the hand is quicker than the eye, but the gadget hand is even quicker. Oh. Huh? Somebody at the door? No, no, it's nothing. These look interesting. What do I do with them? Oh, I'm sure a man of your natural abilities will soon get the hang of the rings. This is a piece of cake. <laughs> Madam, you ought to have your equipment checked more often. Somebody could get hurt. You're so light on your feet. I don't think anything could hurt you. But then, of course, you haven't tried my special gym mats. Try a vault or two. I do so admire grace in a man. Ah. Ta -da! Should have warned you, madam. I have an unfair advantage. My natural ability gives me the reach of ten ordinary men. You're right. You are extraordinary. How about one more exercise to put the spring back in your step? There's nothing like a good workout to get the old gadget body in shape. All work and no play makes gadget a dull boy. <laughs> Your body looks pretty good to me. All you need now is a good steam bath to relax your muscles. That sounds great. A little steam keeps you on the beam. That's what I always say. Brain, are you all right? Where's Uncle Gadget? Is he in danger? <laughs> Hold on, Brain. I'm on my way. Hot enough for you, Mr. Gadget? Maybe you could turn up the air conditioning just a little. <laughs> How's that? Uh, much better, thanks. Make sure that our client is well taken care of. <laughs> you can count on us. <laughs> the Dr. Claw wants to talk to you. He does? Uh, oh. Brain! <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> Gadget won't get out of this one, I promise you. He'd better not. I'm beginning to lose patience. Who's there? <laughs> well, what have we here? I found her snooping around outside. Meow! <laughs> what should I do with her? Lock her in the basement. Lock her in the basement. I give the orders. Oh, my apologies, Dr. Claw. Dr. Claw! Why didn't I think of this before? 
A glass of ice water would certainly hit the spot. Hello, room service? Hello? Hello? Hmm. This is a very strong door, made specially by my grandfather. Sorry to bother you, but no one's answering room service. And a glass of ice water would be nice. I'd like to see him try and open it now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to disturb you again, but I forgot to take off my watch. Could you put it somewhere safe? I told you, stay inside. It's Madame's orders. I wonder why they're so angry. Maybe it's because I forgot to thank them. <laughs> Did you see what I saw? Yeah, a walking plant. Plants don't walk. Ooh. Come on, after it. Hmm, the two fellows left. Must be a time lock on the door. Oh well, now for some exercise. Ooh. Madam! Oh, nothing's going right. Yeah. Oh, no! Gadget got away. Uh, we better tell Madame before she finds out herself. Well, what do you know? An exercise room. Things sure have changed since I was a kid. One, two. One, two. Should be easy. <gasps> one hundred and two, one hundred and three, one hundred and four. Ah, madam, good to see you. You know, I've never seen an exercise room quite like this one. And it will probably be the last one you'll ever see. Why don't you try this? Well, why not? <laughs> Like a good stretch, eh, Inspector Gadget? Oh, that's wonderful for the back. When do we eat? All this exercise has given me quite an appetite. Good. I want to prepare a special meal just for you. <laughs> wonderful. Then I think I'll get some air. Ah, great to be alive. Your inefficiency is making me very angry. B -b 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 Forget your sniveling. I want Gadget eliminated now! Where did she go? dinner time. Gadget should be hungry by now. Make sure you put your potion on everything that Gadget might want to eat. Don't worry. One drop of this and Gadget will be a pussycat in Claw's hands. <laughs> is dinner almost ready? I'm starving. There he is. Is everything all right with Uncle Gadget? <laughs> Madame's going.
going to drug Uncle Gadget? Well, stay with him and don't let him eat anything. Chief Quimby, we found stolen jewels at the health spa. Hurry! I am famished! All this exercise has sure built up my appetite. This is fresh out of the oven. Have a slice of my special bread. Thank you. There's nothing as delicious as homemade bread. Yeah, nice, fresh, soft bread. Your lamb chop must be ready by now. Make sure you eat every last bite. I might even eat the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go, Gadget Neck! Inspector! Well, how do you feel? You ate it all? It was very tasty. I thought you might like some salad with your chop. I have to have a word with the cook. Ah! <laughs> Didn't eat all your salad. <laughs> I was just tossing it. A nice piece of fruit. <gasps> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Yo! Your potion doesn't work. I can't understand it. He must be really tough. Then let's give him my dynamite cake. <laughs> He'll get a real bang out of this. There's something funny going on here. The cook made this just for you. Oh, how thoughtful. And it isn't even my birthday. But won't you have a piece? No, thanks. It's fattening. <gasps> Uncle Gary, no! Great! Wow, sirs. Oh, boy. Okay, take him away. Congratulations, Gadget. You did it again. I did? Well, I'm terribly sorry. No congratulations for finding the jewels, Gadget. Even when you're on vacation, you're still on duty. Chief, I'm always on duty. And we're glad you are, Uncle Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do with the rest of your vacation, Uncle Gadget? Penny, I'm going back to the city for a little peace and quiet. Staying in shape is harder than I thought. From now on, I'm going to take it a little bit at a time. But, Uncle, you got fresh air and exercise. Don't you feel better for it? Yes, Penny, but you don't have to come all the way to the country to improve your health. You can start in your own home. Exercise daily. I think I'll jog to work every morning. And maybe I'll go swimming once a week. I could exercise my gadgets, but Dr. Claw lets me do that all the time. <laughs>